What's good, everybody? Keep the souls, and I'm here right now, every Tuesday, every Tuesday. I said that already, right? Every Tuesday, every Tuesday. Repeated. Repetitivity. Repetitivity. Already starting off with the big word. Oh, man. Let's get it, Keith. I haven't been going to school, so what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I want to go to school, too. I'm trying to go back to college and all that, like... Back to college, like, I haven't started. I mean, I graduated from Kanasi High School, or whatever, but I'm trying to go to college. Like, do you know what college I should go to? Like, I'm trying to go out of state. Everybody tell me, go to CUNY. Go to um, Manhattan. Go to downtown. Motherfucker, I said out of state. Not out of the area. What the fuck, you're not getting me or something? I want to be on campus. Come on campus, you in the school already. So being that you in the school already, you know, you know... You may sleep, like, cut class or that, but class is already there. Like, I'm the type of person that if I'm already in school, I'm going to stay in school. I'm not going to cut a period here, cut a period there, cut a period there. I went, got up 8 o'clock in the morning to go to school. I'm not going to cut three periods, just go to school for three periods, just because of truancy outside. Are you serious? Like, I might as well stay the whole day, just stay, because by the time you leave school, get home, you could have stayed in school that whole time, and it's already 3 o'clock. You'd have just been on your way home, but still, like... You could have stayed in school that whole time. I'm the type of person that if I'm there already, I'm going to just do what I got to do and stay. Like, there's people out there like that. There's people better than me out there like that. But, I mean, it's just common sense. Like, I used to go to Carnegie and everybody used to be like, oh, I'm going to school for two periods and I'm out. What? So you woke up 8 o'clock this morning because my parents was home. Wait. So you woke up 8 o'clock this morning, got showered, got dressed. You're already up. Don't get me wrong. You're already up. But you're going to go in class two periods like this, 45 minutes. Do work. Mind you, you're, li you're not listening, you're hearing the teacher, so you're not paying attention. You're, eh, 4 plus 4, 8, I don't know, um, 12 plus 12, 30, I don't know, what? Hmm. You doing your work, Mark? Yeah, I got my work done already, miss. Hmm. This is a bell ring, ding! Y'all got one more period, I'm out, so you cut with me, cut with me. And you always got that friend that be like, no, I got two more periods, I got to test next period. Oh, I can't leave, nigga, I got gym last period. That be fucked up when you do want to leave, though, right? So, no cut, no cut, you got to test next period with us. What? I haven't been to school all week. What do you mean we got a test? Duh. Uh -huh. You got a test next period because you haven't been to school all fucking week. <laughs> now you all fucked up. And then you always show up. You know what I'm saying? When you do cut school, you cut school for like a straight week. Or you cut that class for like a straight week. When you finally do come back, all right, everybody take out your pencils and papers. We got a test. I came on the wrong day. Like you always come on a day with a test. Now you got to cheat. Or now you got to fail. Even worse. Like, and the teacher always put you on blast. Like, the teacher always tell you, Can I see? You walk in late. First of all, I think the bell was jipping us. Because that shit, as soon as I stepped out of class, I, I go shit to class sometimes, or I stop and talk a little bit. Like, I had, I had the problem where I never went to school my freshman year, so I was a ninth grader for, like, a long time. But it's not that I come stupid. It's because I just never went. So I had truancy reports and shit like that. But when I finally did go back to school, like, I felt like the bell was jipping me. Like, they always, the ice walking in the hallways. So as the bell ring, do 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 ding There you go, eh. Like, damn, the bell ring. Put my shovel in my book bag. I had, like, one book and a pen in my book bag. That's all I had. I had one of them Nike backpacks. I want the strings, like that. But the niggas that had North Faces, like, they didn't have nothing in their book bag. They probably had cracking weed and shit. But anyway, like, I had the one with the strap and everything. So I'm walking, the shit bouncing or whatever. I'm walking, I walk with a hop, so I'm like this. Like, I'm walking, get to class, uh, what's up, Kevin, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, where you going? I got fifth period, Miss, Miss Hagerich, and shit like that. Oh, you got that bitch? Yeah, son, she horrible with it. And then I just stepped, my classroom is right there. Then the teacher want to close the door in your face, boom. Get a late pass, get a late pass. Bitch, if you don't let me in this classroom right now, I break the fucking window. Like, teachers, why the fuck you, you supposed to be giving us an education. Why are you locking us out the classroom? What kind of education is that? You teaching us how to, how to fucking cut? Basically, that's how people cut anyway. Like, you locking them out the classroom. What the fuck is your problem? Are you serious? Let us in the class so we can finish doing our work. You're a troublemaker anyway. And, uh, I'm trying to learn still. I can be a troublemaker and still learn. Like, I'm a troublemaker, but I'm smart. There's some troublemakers out there that are... There's some non-troublemakers out there, but they're idiots. Like, college people, like, not college people. Basketball players. I know people out here that play good-ass basketball. Don't get me wrong. They're some hot-ass basketball players, but they're idiots. I know how to spell this better than them. I know how to know this, say this. I know how to know, say this, and all that. I may seem like a stupid person the way I talk, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm a very smart. I do it because my characteristic. That's the way I am. My persona. Persona. Oh my gosh, another big word. That's two in one day. I'm on a roll. But like persona. I do that because my persona, whatever. Like, I am a funny nigga. Like, I just, like, don't interrogate the situation. Don't instigate the situation. I say interrogate just to be funny and shit. Like, I'm not really that stupid. Do you really think I'm fucking that stupid? 
If you think I'm that stupid, you're the fucking idiot. Like, are we serious? I'm 21 years old. Like, you can't tell by my character characterization. Like, you can't tell by my character that I am like that. Come on. What the fuck? Like, I go to class, I may be a troublemaker, I may joke around the class and shit, but I'm smart. Like, I used to bust out tests and get 80s and all that, and I used to get 80s in Spanish, fucking 90s in maths, um, and shit like that. I didn't even, it shocks me to the point where I didn't even know how to do this shit like that. Like, it used to get Mr. Lamont, math teacher. Anybody could not see no Mr. Lamont? That nigga's a real dick, but that nigga's mad cool, though. Like, he was a dickhead teacher, but he taught you the shit. Like... He'll be like, oh, shut up, shut up, don't talk. Get the fuck out of my class. Like, he'll tell you, get the fuck out of the class and get security or something. But if you respect him, you will learn something. Like, if you just pay attention, don't say shit, shut it. Just shut your fucking mouth and pay attention. You will learn some shit. Like, I learned mad shit from him. But he was a dick, but I learned from him. That's what I mean by being an idiot, but you're smart as hell. Like, shit like that. But, I don't know, I need to go to college or whatever, ladies and gentlemen, but... I don't know. Help me out here. The college boys down there, say what you got to say. Everybody from out of state, let me know. Like, I don't know. Help me out here. I need to go to college. I need intuition. Intuition. Tuition money. I need tuition money and all that. I got several money, but I got money in the bank. Like, if I could log on right now, I could, but my computer move mad slow right now. I got. I think I got a virus. I ain't no fucking virus. I got a disease in that bitch. That shit moving so fucking slow. It's moving worse than a virus. So later that shit going to pop up one day. And she's going to be like, Bleh. I'm like, ah! Like, has anybody ever told you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking. Has anybody ever told you if you look in the mirror too hard and your reflection gonna move? I told my friend Jason that the other day. We sitting in Birkin. And I, there's like a big pillar. A seat, like it's not a seat. There's a glass pillar. So I'm eating. I'm eating. And the kid over there staring at me. I'm like, do he know you like from Kita Souls or Mini Souls or whatever? Cause he just staring at me. Either that or he trying to holler. Mister, I'm strictly not diggly. So, like. Talk to your friend or something. Don't keep standing at me. So I kept looking over like this to the pillar. And the pillar is like standing on my flesh. And I had on another Ed Hardy shirt. Or whatever. So I was trying to look to see if the fucking... Sh like, I like the way it looked right here. with Ed Hardy. So I just kept staring at eating this shit. Laughing with Jason. And I just thought of it. It just snapped in my head. A star popped up on my head. And I was like... Has anybody ever told you that if you stay in the mirror too much, your reflection moves? Like, you're going to look like this. And your reflection going to go... You look at me again, motherfucker. It's a rat. And your reflection just going to get up. you going to like, where the fuck you going? Where you going? You gonna come back with a knife and go, look at me again. Look at me again. Everybody reflects and just go, nah, <laughs> Like that shit. Like she bitch like that superstitious stuff. Like, don't sweep nobody's feet, you ain't gonna get married. I believe that one. Don't cross a black cat. Black cat's been crossing me, but I don't know if I've been getting back luck, but you can't run up to him and just like a black cat cross you, motherfucker. Like that motherfucker going fly. I think if you kick the motherfucker, he's gonna cost you bad luck. Don't run to the cat and go! Don't fucking kick the cat or whatever. I mean, if the cat cross you, don't. Oh, oh, don't make it hot. Just like go around to the sun. But uh, just see if it happens. I don't know. Walking on the ladders, I believe that one. I won't walk on the ladder. Stepping over somebody, make them shorter. Like make their legs shorter or whatever. Don't do that. I mean, I'm not a super, very superstitious person, but there's something. Like, I won't do. Like, you know, like, there's some things you won't do, too. Like, you know more than I do. Don't drop soda on the table. Don't put your hat on the bed and all that. One time somebody dropped soda. The one time I put my hat on the counter, they threw my hat on the floor. I'm like, don't do that. That's two superstitions in one. First of all, you're not supposed to smack my head on the floor. You're going to make somebody's head smaller. Second, like, don't fucking put your hat on the counter because you're going to, I don't know which one that is, but don't put your hat on the counter. It's just disrespectful, maybe. Don't put, have to wear a hat on the table or whatever. But anyway, she put my hat on the floor. Then she going, I'm standing behind her. She going to go, no. Put a sword on her hand and throw it behind her. I'm behind you, bitch. I was starting to, yo, she went, ha! Ah! All sorts. I was like, ah! Oh! Fucking bitch blind in the, man. I don't know what the fuck. Like superstitions and all that kind of shit. But anyway, ladies and I think I'm running out of time. I'm talking so fast and so much. It's just how it is I was raised. Ladies and gentlemen, this was your Keep the Souls, the Comfortables down there. Say what you got to say. And you know the rest of the deal is, gentlemen, we are over and out. I will see you next week on Tuesday. Hopefully seeing viewers, more viewers, every viewer, every guy, everybody, everybody, everywhere. Hi, bye, ladies and gentlemen. See ya at Hardy again.